let's start solving this solving this problem with the example uh so we have got this str1 a b a c and str2 s c a b and we already know the answer is that c a b a c because a b a c is the include excluding the first character we found uh, the subsequence here and similarly c a b the first three characters uh, this is the subsequence uh, which is exactly same as str2 and also we found that this is the shortest of it so let me let's start solving this problem that how we can approach this problem and solve it to get the output that we are seeing here so we have c a b first let's find out what is a common subsequence between str1 and str2 because then only we are, we will build on top of it that what are the extra characters needed so for finding the common subsequence let's see that where we can find it we are just using the basic intuition here yeah so we can see that a and b in str1 and a and b in str2 these subsequences are matching with each other so this and this okay now we have found uh, the common subsequence between these two strings i will just note it down here s a b right and now we have to find the shortest uh, common super sequence so if you think about it right that the final uh, scs that that will be found that would be at least having a and b the longest common subsequence between these two strings and then we need to add the remaining characters in the same order for example uh, in str2 only c is left and in str1 only a and c are left so if i uh, append all these remaining characters into the lcs the order should be exactly same but say for example uh, if i want to add c at the end of it then it will then cab cab will not be the subsequence here so we cannot add character c at the big uh, at the end of this uh, lcs it cannot be placed here it can only be placed uh, at the at before a and b so let's exhaust all the remaining characters and try to like prefix it or suffix it with the lcs that we have found so for str2 we can see that it should be coming before this a and b which is our with this is our lcs because uh, cab only then str2 would be having the the same uh, subsequence inside scs and because a and c in str1 they are after a ab after our lcs so they can only come after this so a and c the remaining characters for str1 now we have exhausted uh, all the characters in both str1 and str2 and this is how we found our short scs before str1 and str2 and this is matching with our output here now let's try to uh, solve the second example that we say seen using the same approach that we have seen here so str1 is g e e k e k e now let's again find the longest common subsequence between these two strings so we can see that uh, g e e k and e k e i can see that e and k and here in e k these are the common uh, subsequence right so let me highlight this and uh, yeah just like make it very clear now once we have found this lcs between the two strings now we need to exhaust all the remaining characters in a proper sequence so that their order is still intact 
So again, as same as we see, have seen here in the previous example, we can see that G and E in HDR1, that can be only prefixed to EK, the LCS. They, can, they cannot come after it. So our SCS would be exhausting all the remaining characters for GE. You can find point G, E, and then again here, STR2 is again quite simple that we can see that E can only come after after the LCS. So we can put G, E, E, K, E, K is our LCS. So we have taken G and E from STR1 and uh, it's exhausted now and STR2 is E. So this is our final solution, SCS. So now here we can see one pattern, right? So the algorithm here we can derive from here is that first of all, firstly, find the LCS that is the longest common subsequence between the two strings. And then we need to insert the remaining non LCS characters either we can prefix it or we can suffix it or we can embed it in between but the most important thing is that the order should be intact in the original string so instead the remaining non LCS characters in the LCS ensuring the order of the characters in the original string so this is the algorithm that we have derived by just looking at very simple examples but this is the final algorithm and uh, i have like in my this tutorial series uh, i have in my very first problem uh, we covered the problem how to solve lcs the longest common subsequence so uh, we'll start uh, in our next video we'll see that how to use this algorithm or approach to finally derive the SCS just in the Excel here uh, so that our understanding is exactly correct and we are getting to the correct solution using the DP bottom-up approach.